Well, hello and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I am your host and guide, Zelda Iron Shield, and today we're going to do a little documentary on a Rise to War Legacy playlist for our group here on Rise to War. We're going to be attempting here in Season 3 to take Moria. And of course, I'm very excited as a dwarf. I'm very excited indeed. So we will be taking Moria right now in about five minutes. So I'm moving my people into position here so we can attack. We're all moving up closer, making sure we're as close as possible to be easy to access point. I'm gonna bring in a army from the... Well, you know what, I need to have a... Where is my Gandalf? There's my Gandalf. Perfect. All right, so there we go, there we go. I need my Hirgon to have better troops here. So I want him to have alchemists. There we go. There we go, that's good, perfect. Excellent. Now I'll have them come over for sieging. As you can see, we are getting to position ready to battle. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day in Middle Earth, wherever you are. And uh, don't forget to get a nice drink and relax. I'm gonna have some fun today. Oh, we got some messages here. Oh, we got some battling with Ingmar happening. Oh, right, cool. We are preparing for battle. It's going to be a blast. Again, my time, I just got up because I worked like eight hours making Lotro, Lotro Life and Venture videos and lots of other content and I've done the updates and got a new fresh video for the front page of my channel because my other one's like 10 months old. So I have a brand new one kind of explaining about my channel. So you guys will probably see all that in the next few days. Excited to take Moria, though. You know, I'm Zolan Iron Shield, and I do love Moria. So this is basically the Holland Gate, right, version. So realistically, this is kind of like the front door is what this is supposed to be, I believe. And then, of course, you know, Moria would be all in these mountains. But that's the idea behind it, the way they did it. And, of course, it's inspiration from the movie, right, because this is kind of like the movie where that, like, path is hanging, right, when, you, when they come in. That's what I believe is going on there. So that's pretty cool. Here we go. I want Moria. Oop. There we go. We're gonna do this, lads and lasses. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I see. I've got some tips to do. Well, I might as well send my people to do tips while I'm waiting for my extra commanders. You guys, go do tips. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to wait. I'll do that one in a little bit. All right, here we go. One minute, my friends. We're going to charge it. So... What does Moria have? Moria is a very powerful one. Almost max level commanders, not quite, but almost. For level 48 commanders, 45 of them, and 40 million health. So again, this is going to be quite a challenge indeed. Um, the bonus is storage, which is super cool. And then uh, as we upgrade it, it'll give us other things as well.
Uh, see? Keep yawning. All right. Look at how many troops are here, armies here. We have 60 there, 81 there, 27 armies there, 10 armies there, 2, 2, 3, 4, some in the back here. But most people moved up to actually do the battle right now. I have with me and ready to go Gimli, Feoden, Dwalin, Dane, Gandalf the White, and then I will have those two other armies on their way over, which are just for sieging. I've got Hirgon with an army of chemists, and Balin, who is both lower levels. And the siege begins. The battle for Moria. There it is, my friends. All right, two armies gone. Those are all my battling armies. Actually, you know what? I might hit it with Gandalf the White as well. Siege armies are coming. Oh my gosh, so many armies. Oh my gosh, it's gonna die so fast. 38 armies, 36 armies. Again, we have a powerful faction here. All right, let's see who hit it. My, uh... Ooh, look at it go. 24 armies left. Twenty-two armies left. So fast. All right, my Gandalf the White hit it. Twenty-one armies left. All right, twenty armies left. Nineteen. That's going so fast. Again, this is a documentary, pretty much for my fellowship here. Fifteen armies left. Gimli's hitting it. Dwalin hit it. Dane hit it. Eleven armies left. Oh wow, I just I dropped those armies there. Have you noticed right there for a second? Eight armies. Oh dude, I think I just like. <laughs> uh oh. Dane and uh, Dwalin got wiped, but uh, Gimli's still fighting. Let's see our results of what my guys did here. All right, so we have Theoden finished off this army, did two hundred thousand damage. And then he fought another army and did another 237,000. Gandalf the White did 132,000. Beat that guy up. Let's see how Gimli did here. Oh, Gimli got to fight some mama kill. Two, oh, Gimli, 266,000. Oh, and it was a Grima, and I still dealt a bunch of damage. And unfortunately, my own guys probably hurt themselves a little too, but that's okay. Grima Worm Tongue's the worst. And then we have. Uh, Dwalin doing some okay damage. Not the best. I'm still working on him. That's much better. All right. He did much better in that fight. Um, and then... Ooh, Dane did pretty good. There was 194,000. And then what did he do in the next fight? 170. Well, and he did 123. Okay. Nice. All right. Not bad damage. Not bad damage. I did about a million, it looks like. Oh, wait. Did I do the math wrong? Might have been more than a million, huh? I don't know, it was close. Somewhere around there. Um, Alright, so now we siege it. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to troll every... <laughs> Go and let me siege it last. <laughs> it will be your jester. Uh. All right, look at that. Already at 28 million, you guys. This is like an efficient 
An efficient fellowship. This is so fast. Yeah, that, that is crazy how fast that is going down. I'm just going to wait for them to finish. Well, let's see. I don't necessarily have to wait. They will siege it a little bit, but... No, 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 this is ours. <laughs> I'm going to be the Lord of Moria. to siege it now oh my gosh Theoden has no troops that's right he won't be able to siege it all right it's falling quick oh it's so it's going fast you guys <laughs> Shall that be called Voice of the Mice? We are smashing it, Ace. Eight thousand. Or eight million, excuse me. Gosh, you guys, look how fast this is going, right? This has been like barely over a 10 minute video, and we're already like almost done. Let's see. How are we at now? Three mil. Go, my guy. Last hit you're gonna be able to do for sure. A one million eight hundred thousand. You guys, I don't even know if my guy will get a hit on it. Here we go. One. Oh, one million sixty-four thousand. There it is, Moria. Get control of Durin's Vale. Ha ha! We have Moria. Mo ha ha ha! Victory is ours. Oh, and look at that, my friends. Ah, uh, me and Veyron right at the top with trippy toes and Gelmer doing the most siege on our group. Again, I would like to explain it. It matters who hits it last with Siege. So we have three or four fellowships in our alliance, in our faction. And whoever hits it last gets to see these numbers. Kind of weird. I think they should change that to who actually did the most damage to Siege and soldiers, no matter what, in your faction. In your faction that takes it. 
But, um, so again, we might have had people who did more damage to leaders and more siege damage onto the other fellowships. But, good job, everyone. But it's kind of fun, because, you know, I'm Zalid, and I'm going to be the Lord of Moria. And Veyron is also going to be fair. We're all going to have fun together. It's going to be a blast. Nice. I, that's actually kind of crazy. Look at how much damage me and Veyron did. That's really... <laughs> really high he did a million five hundred twenty thousand and did a million almost four hundred thousand and trippy toes did a million to, to, to that's hard to do with leader it's a little easier to do with siege damage to get into the millions because there's 40 million but to get soldier damage that's crazy all right Everyone come over to Moria. Wait, wait, dang it. For drinks. <laughs> uh oh, it's some betrays someone. Oh, it's funny. Oh man, great job. And we got good games coming from everyone all over the server. How nice. All right. Rohan has occupied Durin's Vale control point, Moria, for the first time and gained regional control. Very exciting. Very exciting indeed. So again, that gives us control over the Moria Dale, which I'm going to go up high here so you can just see. So we just took this place, Moria, right here, which gives us this region that's lit up here, right? So again, this is a very close game in battle. You can see, like, kind of the battle line kind of north versus south <laughs> right now but um yeah so anyway fun fun battling it out what a blast we have good opponents on both our against us and with us everyone's awesome and it's been a blast and uh yeah it's pretty exciting so uh it'd be fun to be the new lord of moria <laughs> again we were joking the other day because uh, I always considered myself a dwarf, no matter what. So everyone was like, <laughs> I had one person on the dwarf. Everybody was like, wish you were over here. And I was like, I know. But we're playing Rohan, and Rohan is super cool. That's what we voted on as a faction, as an alliance. But um, we were laughing because my Rohan alliance was like, we have one dwarf that we don't kill. That's our ally. <laughs> and that's the, the glittering cave, Zolid Iron Shield. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty funny. Uh, appreciate it guys uh anyway so awesome awesome we did it mori is ours there's a little documentary video of today hope you guys enjoyed it um yeah cool and then i did some siege damage there do 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 again not very much siege damage compared to attacking it with so many armies i probably could have attacked it with more battle armies to do more damage to commanders but um yeah that's all i wanted to it takes a lot of units out of here your stuff, right you now, you know? All right, you guys, you have a wonderful day in Middle Earth. Quick little shout out and thank you to my patron, Mr. Ravel, for being a royal level guard. There you go, Mr. Ravel, you can also be in Moria with me. If you guys are enjoying Moria, also check out my other content on Elotro Tale Adventure to my Rise to Wolf fans, if you like that stuff. Um, we are going through Moria right now on Elotro Tale, my main playlist. We just started where we're doing voiceovers and Zolan is adventuring through the mines. In Lord of the Rings Online. It's pretty epic. So come on over and check that out too as well if you guys want. So you guys have a wonderful day in Middle Earth. I'm your hosting guys on Iron Shield as always. And have a great day. I'm going to go hang out in Moria some more. Baruch Hazard. Kuzan, I've met you.